Hi everyone, welcome back. So in the last class, I explained you about how different anticoagulants prevented formation of clot and the blood in fluid state. In today's class, I'll explain you what are the mechanisms that can act on this clot and break down the clot, fibrinolytic or thrombolytic mechanisms. So consider this is the blood vessel wall and here the injured portion of the blood vessel, the platelet aggregated to form platelet plug. And this platelet plug is converted to a permanent strong fibrin clot by the role of clotting factors activating the fibrinogen and converting into fibrin. See now this clot if at all this is unchecked it can grow in size and sometimes the clot formation happens in circulation. So these clots have to be degraded if at all this continues to grow or if it is released from this portion it acts as an emboli and this emboli this clot will can block the blood vessels so that the blood supply to the tissue will be affected. So this has to be broken down this clot has to be split broken down. So what is the mechanism to break down the clot? So fibrinolytic, lytic is referring to lysis, breakdown of fibrin. See the liver synthesizes and secretes a protein that is plasminogen. This plasminogen has to be converted to active form plasmin. The role of this plasmin is to break down the fibrins. See, I will draw here the fibrin threads which were formed by fibrin monomer which is a trinodular structure. This is one fibrin monomer and these are fibrin monomers organized to form fibrin meshwork. These fibrin monomers were cross linked by fibrin stabilizing factor action and also there were cross linkages between the two chains like this. So in the previous class I explained to you this is the D domain, this is the D domain, this is D domain, this is D domain, the center is the E region, so these are D and center E, this is D, D, center E, D, D, center E. So I will write one monomer here, this is fibrin monomer, the peripheral D domains, central E domain. Now what is the role of this plasmin now? Plasmin is a cutter that will break down the bonds. So this bond is broken down, this bond is broken down, this is broken down this is broken down. So what happens now? So here this is broken down, this is broken down, this is broken down. The fib fibrin degraded products are formed. See here this portion is released. This is fibrin degradation product and also this portion is released, so this portion is released, this portion is released. So this is D domains of nibrin fibrinogens, See, this is the D dimer, dimer is two moieties, two D moieties form D dimer and small fibrin degradation products are formed. This is by the action of plasmin, plasmin will act on the fibrin meshwork and cut the fibrin meshwork, fibrin threads, it is like a cutter, it breaks the fibrin threads to release the fibrin degradation products, the D-dimer and some fibrin degradation products. Now how this plasmin is activated from plasminogen? The endothelial cells will secrete plasminogen activator. So that is tissue plasminogen activator and also the kidneys, the cells of the kidneys will 
secrete the cells of the kidneys will also secrete the plasminogen activator we call them as urokinase type plasminogen activator urokinase type plasminogen activator plasminogen activator so the role of this tissue plasminogen activator and urokinase type plasminogen activator is to convert this plasminogen protein precursor into active plasmin and this active plasmin is the cutter that will cut the fibrin threads to form these products the d dimer and small fragments are formed so this is about the fibrinolytic system the fibrinolytic system is very simple the endothelial cells and the kidney cells will secrete plasminogen activators that will convert the plasminogen to plasmin and plasmin will cut the fibrin threads to give rise to the fibrin degradation products the d dimer and some other fibrin degradation products pieces and there is also regulation for this fibrinolytic system if this fibrinolytic system is unchecked it continues to break down the fibrin threads this is also under regulation under regulation by a plasminogen activator inhibitor this plasminogen activator inhibitor will regulate these two activators plasminogen activator inhibitor will inhibits the tpa and upa this plasminogen activator inhibitor is also secreted from the endothelial cells only so this endothelial cells secrete this plasminogen activator inhibitor inhibits this tpa and upa and regulates the activity of uh, this tpa and upa also if at all there is excess of plasmin this plasmin cutter is also under regulation by one more protein that is alpha 2 antiplasmin so this alpha 2 antiplasmin is also a protein molecule that will inhibit the plasmin actions so the fibrinolytics are mainly the plasmin and its precursor plasminogen and their activators plasminogen activators tissue type and urokinase type and the regulators of this fibrinolytic system are plasminogen activator inhibitor and alpha 2 antiplasmin so this is all about the fibrinolytic system and the regulation of fibrinolytic system thank you for watching this video